Hola, welcome to another Spanish lesson with Senor Geis. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to conjugate verbs that end in ER. It's really similar to conjugating verbs that end in AR, so before you keep watching this video, make sure you really know how to conjugate a verb that ends in AR. You can look back at my previous video if you are still unsure about that. So in that video that we learned where we learned how to conjugate verbs that end in AR. These are the endings that we learned. Um, we know that nadar means to swim, and the AR at the end of nadar means to. And we know that we can conjugate it by replacing that AR with different endings to mean different things. So nado means I swim. Nadas means you swim. Nada means he or she swims. It could also mean it swims. Nadamos means we swim. Nadais means you all swim, or you guys swim, or y'all swim. And nadan means they swim. But what if you want to conjugate a verb that ends in er? It's really similar to conjugating verbs that end in ar. So just like verbs that end in ar, you're going to take off the er ending and add an ending to the rest of the word. So those endings that you're going to add for ER verbs are really similar to AR verbs. So for example, corro means I run, corro. This is the exact same thing as AR verbs. The O means I. So if you want to say you run, you would chop off the ER at the end of correr and you would say corres, you run, corres. So now O is the I ending, S is the U ending for ER verbs. If we want to say corre, corre means he runs. It could also mean she runs or it could mean it runs. We take off the ER ending and say hemos, corremos, we are saying we run, corremos, we run. Correr, you add the ace ending, corres, to the end of correr, you are saying you all run. So corres means you all run. And finally, corren means they run. So now we have our six endings for our six different grammatical persons um, for conjugating verbs that end in er. And you probably have noticed by now that these endings are super similar to the verbs, to the verb endings for AR verbs. And I just want to point out how that is. So AR verbs have almost the exact same ending as ER verbs, only they have the letter A in them. So AR verbs, when you say EI, you're going to use the O ending. But when you say you, you're going to say AS, A, Amos, ice, and an. All those endings have A's in them. But ER verbs, if a verb ends in ER, you're going to replace wherever there was an A in the AR endings with an E. So you're going to say S, E, Amos, Ace, and N. So you can almost think of it like remembering just this chart and filling in these boxes with whatever letter corresponds to the verb that you're conjugating. So if you're conjugating AR verbs, you're going to fill in those boxes with A's. And if you're conjugating ER verbs, you're going to fill in those boxes with E's. I'm going to just do a couple examples here now. So leer means to read. If I said le en, leen, what do you think that would mean? If you guessed they read, then you are correct. Leen means they read. Comer means to eat. So if I take off the ending of comer and add an es, comes, what do you think that would mean? If you guessed you eat, you are correct. Comes means you eat. And our last example here, aprender means to learn. So if we take off the ER ending from aprender and replace the ER with ace, aprendes, 
what do you think aprendes means? If you guessed, you all learn, you would be correct. Aprendes el español. So in summary, these are the endings that you're going to use when you're conjugating ER verbs. They're super similar to the AR endings, so they should be a lot easier for you to remember than starting from scratch.